Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DirectX error while playing Battle for Neighborville game on your PC. Now, the first step is to, for desktop user. So if you're using a DVI cable to connect uh, your monitor, then please switch, it, uh, switch the cable uh, from DVI to HDMI. So if your computer has a HDMI port and your monitor has a HDMI port, then use the HDMI cable to connect and that should fix the problem. This has fixed the problem for many users. So try doing so in case you're using DVI cable to connect to your monitor. Now the second step is to turn off scaling in NVIDIA control panel. So just open NVIDIA control panel, just make a right click somewhere on the desktop, then click on NVIDIA control panel and then go to the display option and then click on adjust desktop size and position and then find the scaling option and then click on no scaling and then click on apply and then try launching the game. Now the third step is to roll back NVIDIA driver to the previous version. So open device manager, just type in device manager in Windows search box, open device manager, go to display adapters, make a right click on your NVIDIA graphic card, then click on properties, go to driver tab and then click on roll back driver and this will go ahead and roll back the driver to the previous version then restart your computer and then try launching the game. Now the fourth step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So make a right click then click on NVIDIA control panel and then go to manage 3D settings, go to program settings, then click on add, select your game from the list if you don't find the game in the list then click on browse go to the installation folder and from there you know select the exe file of the game and then click on add select a program and just below you will find the option which says select the preferred graphics pro processor for this program click on the drop down arrow select high performance for nvidia processor then click on apply and then try launching the game. Now the next step is to disable full screen optimization and run the game as an administrator. So go to the game exe file, make a right click and then go to properties, go to compatibility tab, then put a check on disable full screen optimization, then click on run this program as an administrator, then click on apply ok and then try launching the game then disable origin in game so open origin on your computer then go to application settings then click on origin in game if the origin in game is on go ahead and disable it and then try launching the game and the last step is to uninstall and do a clean installation of a graphics card driver so to uninstall graphic card just type in apps and features in windows search box scroll down and find nvidia graphics card driver so here you can find the nvidia graphics card driver then click on uninstall once the uninstallation is done restart your computer and do a clean installation of graphic card driver to do a clean installation open a browser just type in nvidia graphic card just type in nvidia drivers click on download drivers go to nvidia website select your graphic card from here just make sure that you are selecting the right graphic card so if you're not sure about which graphic card you have then open device manager and go to display adapter and here you will see the graphic card. So I have NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050. So I've selected the right graphic card over here. Then click on search. Click on download. Then again download. Once the download is complete, I exe file will download. Let the download complete. And then run the file. click on yes to allow click on ok
now agree to the terms so I've selected NVIDIA graphics driver then agree and continue then use the custom option select the custom option and then click on next and over here you will see a box which says perform a clean installation so put a check on perform a clean installation then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is done restart your computer and then try launching the game so let's start the game So one of the steps should definitely help you to run the game successfully without any er error message. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.